Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful to in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we begin our preparation in this season of Advent, we are asked not only to expect, not only to wait, we are challenged to accept our Lord Jesus in this season. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. This is what Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain and raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it. Many people shall come and say, Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain, the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways, and we may walk in his path. For from Zion shall go forth from instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and impose terms on many people. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. <laughs> built as a city with compact unity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you prosper. May peace be within your walls, prosperity in your buildings. Be 
because of my brother and friends, I will say, Peace be within you. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will pray for your good. to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you know the time. It is the hour now for you to awake from sleep. For our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is advanced, the day is at hand. Let us then throw off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us conduct ourselves properly as in the day not in orgies and drunkenness, not in promiscuity and lust, not in rivalry and jealousy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the desires of the flesh. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Lord, your love, and, and grant, grant us your salvation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. In those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage up to the day that Noah entered the ark. They did not know until the flood came and carried them all away. So will it be also at the coming of the Son of Man? Two men will be out in the field. One will be taken and one will be left. Two women were, will be grinding at the mill. One will be taken and one will be left. Therefore, stay awake. For you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too, you also must be prepared. For at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord <laughs> Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. I am very thankful for all of you. The cathedral is again overflowing with people to celebrate the 
a holy mass physically together. And I also thank the Lord this morning for sending to us this day Father Mani Uy of the Society of Jesus, who concelebrated this Mass together with me this uh, uh, morning. He is here to fulfill his devotion to Our Lady and to bring to the Immaculate Conception, whose feast day is now getting near, to bring his intentions and prayers to Our Lady. Palakpakan po muna natin si Father Mani. Thank you po, Father Mani. Today, as we begin the season of Advent, the season of waiting for the festivities of the birth of our Lord, our Gospel today tells us that the coming of the Lord will happen at an hour you do not expect. Darating ang Panginoon sa oras na hindi mo inaasahan. The coming of the Lord will happen at an hour, at a time when you do not expect it, in ways that you do not expect also and perhaps in persons you do not expect. And so, the Advent season challenges us today not only to expect, but to accept. The season of Advent is, of course, a season of waiting, but it is us waiting, not of expecting, but also of accepting. Magkaiba po when you eg uh, expect and you accept. Kahit ako nabubulol tuloy, no? It is different when you expect and also you accept. When you expect something, especially for yourself, it means inaasahan mong darating talaga. But many times, when you expect something for yourself, you will be disappointed. Expecting may lead to disappointment. That is why Jesus tells us today not only to expect, but to accept how Jesus is coming into your life. For example, in our Gospel today, Jesus used the example of Noah and the people at the time of Noah. They were expecting that they will have a good life That is why they became proud. They became complacent. And after the flood, it was then they realized that they were wrong. My dear brothers and sisters, let Advent challenge us today not to expect but to accept. Expecting may lead you to disappointment but accepting will lead you to happiness and contentment in the Lord. Madalas ko, nag-e-expect tayo madalas para sa ating mga sarili. Naalala ko po minsan, bilang bagong pare, sumakay po ako sa LRT. Sabi ko, susuotin ko yung suot ng pari, yung Roman collar, yung may kulay puti dito. Sabi ko, siguro kapag suot ko yun, ay papapasukin ako ng mga tao kahit rush hour. So I wore my Roman collar expecting 
that I will be given a special <laughs> privileged place because I am a priest. Eto na, bumukas na yung LRT. Rush hour. Alam nyo, first time ko yatang nasiko. No? Siniko ako, hinila ako sa kabila, pang limang tren na ako nakasakay sa LRT. No? Hindi gumana ang aking Roman collar, ang aking pagiging pare. And I was disappointed, I will admit, at that time. Sabi ko sa sarili ko, Ganito na ba tratuhin ng mga tao ang pare? <laughs> dati siguro ginagalang, dati siguro papapasukin ako, pauunahin ako. Pero sa LRT, walang pare-pare. No? Lahat mandirigma, <laughs> lahat aawayin ng isa't isa para lang makapaso. I was disappointed. But come to think of it, I expected a lot for myself, for just being a priest. I was expecting a special treatment. And it led to disappointment. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus challenges us today that He will come not at our expected time. So do not expect Learn also how to accept. Naalala ko po, kaming mga pari, mayroon po kaming mga biruan. Kasi nagbibiruan ng mga pari na may ilan daw sa amin na may pangarap maging obispo. So nagbibiruan kami, sabi namin mayroon daw isang pari, pinatawag ng papal nuncio. At sabi ng papal nuncio sa kanya, The Holy Father is appointing you to become a bishop. Do you accept? Sa sobrang excitement ng pare, ang nasagot niya, hindi I accept. Sabi niya, I expect. Many times, we expect some things for ourselves. But what if that priest did not become a bishop? Would he be still happy to become a priest? What if he expects that he will become a bishop? Would he just become a disappointed priest all the days of his ministry? My dear brothers and sisters, Advent challenges us not only to expect but to accept the coming of our Lord. In our first reading today from the book of the prophet Isaiah, the prophecy tells us of this Messiah who will come as a peacemaker. According to the prophecy, they shall convert their swords into plowshares, their spears into pruning hooks. They will not raise the sword against another, and they will not train for war again. The Messiah will be a peacemaker. But then, when Jesus came, the people at that time were expecting that he will become a king who will wage war against the Romans. But Jesus came in a way that they did not expect. That is why they were disappointed and they did not accept Jesus. Maraming beses po mga kapatid, we expect other people also to become what we expect them to be. Siguro ko merong mga mag-asawa dito. Sometimes you also have expectations, no? With your husband or with your wife. Bakit ba itong asawa ko e eh, ganito, no? Mas gusto ko sana na ganito ka eh. 
bakit ba hindi ka mag-diet no gusto ko mag-diet ka no gusto ko ganito lang ang figure mo no bakit ba ganito no mas gusto ko na ganito itong expectation ko sa iyo sometimes we expect too much we want them to become our ideal husband ideal wife but in too much expectation we already forget to accept them and to love them. Jesus teaches us this Advent season not only to expect, but also learn how to accept. Let us learn from our second reading today from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. St. Paul reminds the Christians in Rome not just to wait for the Lord, but he says, to put on our Lord Jesus Christ. Isuot ninyo si Kristo. Ibig sabihin, wag nyo lamang siyang hintayin. Tanggapin ninyo siya. So that we can see like Jesus, we can love like Jesus, we can act like Jesus. We can love like Jesus. Yan ang hamon ng adyento. Hindi lamang po tayo naghihintay. Tinatanggap din natin si Jesus. At dumating man siya sa paraan na hindi natin inaasahan, sa paraan na hindi natin gusto, we will not be disappointed. We will not reject Him. But we will accept Him. Put on our Lord Jesus Christ. Do not just wait for Him. Do not just expect something from Jesus. Wait for Jesus and accept Him at His coming even in ways that we do not expect. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Mass, let us be reminded by Advent not just to expect the coming of our Lord, but to accept the coming of Jesus into our lives. Amen. Please stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord Jesus has called us to watch for the day of His return. As we enter this season of Advent, let us come to the Father in prayer, watching and waiting for His beloved Son. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that all members of the church may deepen their personal prayer in the coming weeks let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that nations in conflict may hammer their swords into plowshares and find a just peace let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that men and women suffering emotional distress may find the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that in our preparation for Christmas, we may resist excessive spending. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the dead may rejoice forever in the house of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, hear the prayer of the people you have gathered at this altar in faithful obedience to your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal.
eternal God through Christ our Lord. For He assumed at His first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when He comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a few important announcements. Starting this Tuesday, November 29, we will be beginning our Novena to the Immaculate Conception. We will be preparing for nine days for our fiesta on December 8, so that you could follow in our daily Novena we have prepared a downloadable copy of our updated Novena to the Immaculate Conception that includes the prayer of Pope Francis for the Immaculate Conception. You can go to our social media pages of the Manila Cathedral at uh, pinost po namin dyan this morning a downloadable copy. So you will just click the link you can save it on your phones or you can have it printed so that every day starting Tuesday, uh, you could follow our novenas in uh, our social media pages and even in our online masses. The complete schedule of our novena masses as well as the schedule of masses on December 8 are now all posted at the Manila Cathedral social media pages. Para po maging updated kayo, do not forget to like, follow, and share the Manila Cathedral social media pages on Facebook, on Instagram, and even on Twitter so that you could follow our daily schedule, especially as we come near the great feast of our patroness, the Immaculate Conception. We would also like to uh, thank the Vincentian Fathers for uh, giving us medals, the miraculous medals of Our Lady. Today is the feast day of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. And yesterday, the Vincentian family have uh, brought here the image of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal, which you can see uh, on the side of the Manila Cathedral. Uh, and then they also gave us medals so that we could distribute it to people, especially this uh, Sunday. The visit of the image of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal will conclude tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. with a celebration of the Solemn Vespers together with the Vincentian family. Again, we would like to continually thank our Manila Cathedral family and even the online community for your continued support, help, and donations. Tuwang-tuwa po ako na marami pong nagsimba ngayon hanggang labas po may mga tao. Akala ko lumipat na kayo sa Landmark Chapel. <clears throat> Baka pagkatapos nito, may tatakbo pa sa inyo sa Makati. Okay lang, basta unahin nyo pa rin ang Manila Cathedral. Lagot ako kay Father Reggie. So again, our thanks to all of you and for all your support and help to the Manila Cathedral so that you may continue, we may continue to fulfill our mission in spreading the Word of God. Let us all stand and... Uh, we will now have the prayer of blessing and conferral of the miraculous medals of Our Lady. Almighty and merciful God, in virtue of the many apparitions on earth of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, it has pleased you to work miracles again and again for our salvation. Pour out your blessing upon these medals. May all who piously reverence them and devoutly wear them 
experience the patronage of Mary Immaculate and obtain mercy from you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Receive the holy medal, wear it in faith, and handle it with suitable devotion. May the most holy and immaculate Queen of Heaven protect and defend you. She is ever ready to renew her wondrous acts of kindness. May her intercession obtain for you whatever you humbly ask of God. Both in life and in death, may you rest securely in her motherly arms. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh